in Spain did it as well. Uh, I'm, I'm not happy that uh, Alberto Rivero and Alberto Vasquez, uh, who uh, really they, they would like to be with us in Uganda, but I'm happy again for them because they start the, the cinematograph and distribution of the film in Spain, so they have to follow this uh, distribution campaign. But I'm happy because they propose uh, the one of the animators uh, uh, that was working on the film. Uh, Santiago, Santiago Alisco, sorry, it was like this. <laughs> to come to Uganda and to present it. And actually, to shortly introduce uh, Santiago, you'll do it by yourself. It would be better because I'm really, really tired now and sorry for this. But also, I'm so happy that uh, we have the presence of the ambassador of Spain, Mr. Jose Luis de la Peña, that uh, came to listen to this presentation and uh, they actually the Spanish embassy in Uganda supported the arrival of uh, Santiago. Uh, to uh, to Uganda and Mr. Ambassador, I would like you to have the mic to say a few words. Thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Well, I would like to uh, first of all to thank the uh, on Mr. Igor uh, Russell and the organizer of. Uh, uh, Festival and Mateka for their kind invitation to attend this presentation uh, of the making of Psychonauts, uh, the Forgotten Children. As you can imagine, as Ambassador of Spain, it is my pleasure to participate in uh, an event like this one, which proves the importance of uh, animated films uh, in, uh, in my country. Fortunately, Spain, uh, Spanish cinema, is broadly uh, well known all over the world. Allow me uh, not to be modest uh, and say that uh, almost anybody can remember or mention names of Spanish actors, directors, and specialists in many other uh, cinematographic skills like photography, uh, scenery, uh, montage, uh, etc. And I think as well that uh, all the people who are fond of uh, cinema most probably have seen more than one Spanish movie or TV series where you can appreciate the quality and the good work uh, their creators have done. However, the Spanish animated films are not so well known. But not only abroad, but in Spain itself. In spite of the quality and the amount of films that have been produced as soon as from the beginning of the 20th century. It is surprising and unfair <coughs> that those animated films are not considered as important as they are. I think that most Spaniards should be proud of the abundant and excellent animated movies made by our fellow countrymen, which in many cases have been pioneers in technical innovations. That's why I'm truly satisfied when I see that Slovenia, a country uh, that is so interested in Spanish culture, as I have realized since I arrived here one year and a half ago, Pays well deserved attention to this side of the seventh art through the presentation and the showing of an animated film like Psychonauts, The Forgotten Children, which, was, which has won so many national and international awards. And this is something that proves its big success, which Spain shall be proud of. Therefore, I would like to congratulate the film's directors, who are not here with us today, Alberto Vasquez and Pedro Rivero for their great work and their success. And I also want to thank uh, Santiago Riscos, the animator of Bird Boy, whose sequel is uh, Psychonauts, for his presence and uh, his uh, presentation. Please convey to uh, the two directors my, my, uh, my uh, congratulations. I encourage them to go on with their work and uh, may them have as much success in the future as in the past. That's what I really hope. Once again, many thanks to Festival Animatita for this invitation, and I hope you enjoy the presentation and the film. Thank you. Juan Aliba. Thank you, Thank you again, Mr. Ambassador, and before giving the floor to you, Santiago, to show us and tell us about, let's just say that tonight at 11, at the Kinotor Cinema, we'll have like the uh, screening of the film. We'll be present there as well to have a short introduction at the beginning of the film. The floor is yours, please.
Hej. Ja, jag blir där nog en lång tid. Thanks to the festival to bring me here. Thanks you to be here. I know it's last time, so I appreciate. Uh, I try. I will try to make it fast to not uh, bore you. Um, well, here we go. I cannot see pronounce. Um, this Dutch, that long film has made in a very short time, but uh, it's a very long story. It begins uh, like in 2011, something like that. We we knew before, even before uh, Pedro Rivero, one of the directors. My first job was animate in uh, in his previous film, like this is Carnivora. So we met and we worked in an animation studio. We did cut out like moving puppets of 2D that I'm not sure now. And he always said to us, uh, you should uh, make your own studio with me and Chris Sende, my associate. So finally we make it and we, when we have that little studio independent, he brings us a comic book, which I'm going to show. This is an art book, uh, it's not already ready, but I have the PDF. <laughs> so the comic was like this, this is the cover, and was in black and white, and very simple drawings. So, uh, Pedro, take that comic, contact with the author, Alberto Vasquez, and say, I want to make a movie with that comic. I want to say, okay. So, they decide, it's very difficult to make a 2D movie in Spain. So they decide to make first a short film and see what happens. You know? So Pedro came to us and said, I have the project. Okay, yeah, we're really cool. And he said to us, but Alberto doesn't know you, doesn't trust you. And he has the first idea. Alberto wanted to make the movie in 3D and in black and white. So. Well, they are, they, they are in contact with a studio that are making testing. But Pedro said to us, why don't you make a test to, to Alberto says. So Alberto says, ah, okay, like that. So we made it and we decide by ourselves that black and white is okay, we can make good movies in black and white. But we decide that uh, the story has uh, the, the main character uh, doesn't speak. There are a lot of scenes walking around and see the backgrounds. And we say we say if you have to see the backgrounds a long time, maybe it's better a little bit of color, only a little bit, not not the powerful color. So we make a first test, a first test uh, at that time. We make still a good type of animation, but when we form our studio, we are beginning to improve it and making experiments, but this is still cut out. So you will see the very short, the very first thing of Sipanauts. So it starts in black and white. a little bit of yellow and green, like the color of the comic. So when Alberto see this, say, ah, oh, okay, I like it. I like my, more than the 3D test uh, they have made. They have made. But uh, he said, but there are complicated uh, scenes, like the character flying around. So maybe that is scene we can make it in 3D. I said, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we had to make another test of a flying, of the character flying, to show him that it's possible to make it also in 2D. So that's the second test with a little bit more of action. At the beginning, is, it begins like a like a story. It looks 
like Thai, you know, for Thai. So he said, yeah, okay, okay. But suddenly, in the industry, you can see a little bit. So that's a very good thing because since that uh, the producers hear a little bit uh, and say, ah, okay, maybe we, we can make a long movie. Meanwhile, we continue doing other works the years past. Uh, my associate uh, Chris Sembe has directed one, one short film I made with him. It's called Viaja Pies. And finally, we decide to put away the puppets and say, okay, let's do traditional animation. So we take two very good uh, students of traditional animation. They are so good that after uh, they collaborate to, with us, with the short film, we learn a lot from them. And after that, uh, his, uh, their first job, there is a couple, uh, Juanpe and Eva, his first, their first job was uh, they are uh, in in Cartoon Network, in Amazing World of Gamble, so they are very good people. And finally, we discovered that with traditional animator, with traditional anima animation, sorry, you are free, because uh, with the puppet, if you have to turn the, the head, you have, oh, how I do that, ah, okay. Yeah. With traditional animation, if you have to turn the head, just you draw, you just draw, and suddenly we feel like a freedom, you know? You can put the camera wherever I, I draw the view, you know. So we like a lot, and since then, all this traditional animation. So when finally the the movie was uh, about to begin in the production, we say to the directors, uh, now it's, it's not going to be like the short film. It's going to be better. It's going to be in traditional animation. So they say, okay, but. That's expensive, you know, if we can make a, a Disney animation full of frame. So we have to find other solutions. Oh well, we will talk about a little bit later. I'm going to show you the beginning of the production of the of Psychonauts. Well that's a good album. Based on the comic, that's the short film, so many images. And that's the storyboard. It's made by Alberto, the same author of the comics. He made it in paper and he even colored it with watercolors, you know. And that's the storyboard. So he spent like quite long doing that because a, a whole movie storyboard he made it. And well, after that the concept art, we begin to study the real colors and you are going to see in the movie. And 
studying how to finish the character no? with the colors, the shadows. We had a, well, it's not a problem. The, the backgrounds are like uh, very handmade sometimes, other times in Photoshop. And the characters are made in, in Flash, so we have to put together and make it uh, work, but we will see later in, in the art book. Okay, you can see the character, the design. Okay, that's the layout, finally. But the story was very good, but was like uh, in pencil and very little drawing, so we have to make the layout, the final position of the characters. Um, they have a uh, higher, like a uh, very good uh, comic, uh, comic artist. It's called Jose Domingo. It's, uh, he has made the comic The Adventures of a uh, Businessman. It's uh, nominated to the Eisner Award. And well, that's the final aspect uh, of the movie. So, uh, it's like backgrounds, like very drawings. And the character it are in flat colors, but after in Photoshop, we put shadows in every frame, you know? So, coming back to animation. We thought that, okay, we want to make it in, in 2D, traditional, but we have only we, six months to the production with a few animators. We are, we are in total 14, that's very a few crew, you know. So we have to decide how to, how to make it quick, but how to make it in traditional. So we, we use like a, like the Japanese, the Japanese are genius in uh, in uh, spend time, you know, and money, because they sometimes the character is doing nothing and 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 the movement is not smooth like this. Like they said, the the less drawing, so we try to make with the less the maximum, you know, the, a few drawings but expressive drawings, and and like this you don't have to to see the puppet during the whole movie. You see every time the character uh, in a different way. Um, at the time, before the production, we began the pre-production. Meanwhile, Alberto was doing the storyboard. We began to make it uh, best in that technique traditional. So, that's the new big boy. It's not like the short film, it's like you can see the line changes a little bit, it's more organic, but it's flat. Uh, so after in Flash, we, we put that animation on Photoshop and, <coughs> sorry, and we paint the shadows with good photo Photoshop pencil to, to put together with the background that is uh, also made in pencil. So this is a test. Of shadows. And like that, we get uh, that look of uh, like painted, you know, like uh, like it, it, if it was a, an animated comic you know, or an animated illustration. This is a quick test, also. We take a pill. Crazy. Uh, if you ever, whenever you want, if you have one, if you have a question, do it. And even if it's about, uh, it's not about animation. I read uh, some interviews of the director, so you can ask about the story or whatever. <laughs> Another pencil test. You know, you can you can make more more dynamic and more organic the the poses that with the puppet. A new fly in animation. And okay, Santiago, how, how big was the team of animators? And uh, you were only in one place, or it was in Madrid, or it was in 
at, at this time, this test, we are making uh, in Barcelona. And how many people are working already in the pre-production? Uh, only Chris and me. Really? Uh, very few people, yeah. <laughs> and, and I feel very free doing that because in traditional animation you can you feel free and you and you and you make more changes and deformation that if you are attached to the puppet. No? So we we enjoy a lot. But also we want to uh, study how to spend money. So we decide to make the character speaking not a perfect lip sync like Disneyland. You can see the I remember all the vocalizations, you know. We, we make like a Japanese style, uh, open and, and close the mouth, for, for three mouths, and you can make it talking. We make also a little test with audio. So you can see, that's a test for saying, okay, uh, if, you, if we have to be cheap, we can be cheap, but let's make it good, no? It's not this name, but well, um, it's a little test. There, there is a final scene in a storm in the sea, so a, a test uh, of the sea. I made it all the effect, the special effects in the movie, the water, the fire, the smoke, the, and it's all made uh, by hand. It's not computer generated, so it was uh, very funny, but but hard. We have that in color also. Well, that's a uh, first test. Finally, the the CD is you know, it's not like that, but well, it's in traditional. And a little test of the girlfriend of Dinky, oh, the girlfriend of Bear Boy. Uh, sorry. And well, at this time, it begins the production. We move to Galicia, we, we make it there. Uh, we are like nine animators and another in, in other cities of Spain. Um, and we have only six months. So it's like a whole movie in six months. How do you make it with only 14 animators? So we decide, inspired by Disney this time, Japanese and Disney. <laughs> We decide. I, I saw in making up of, the, of, of this name, they they make they give the characters to different animator, like in Aladdin. Okay, you make the genius. You are the supervisor of the genius. You are the supervisor of Aladdin. You are, and you make sure your character is like you want to to be. So we make the same, and we and we between the animators we say, okay, um, you make big boy and you make the, the girlfriend and you base it in, in the different styles and that's a, a good thing because uh, if we don't do that probably in the film you can notice the different hands you know the character you, you risk that change you know uh, depends of which animator made it so with that way you can make sure okay if you did if you do bear boy Bear Boy will be the same, always. Well, in case of Bear Boy, uh, he's the main character, so we, we were two animators. It was me and Rob, another animator. So sometimes it changed. But it's only two big boys, you know, not 14 big boys. So, for example, we have uh, some girls and uh, animators from Italy. And there are one who make a short film about a girl very smooth and say, okay, you, you, you do the girlfriend of your boy. And the poor girl make all the movie only that mouse. You know? At the end of the production, she was like sick of all of the character. But if you see the movie, you can notice that it's always the same mouse and he moves always the same way. So I think it's a good thing. So, we are ending. I'm going to show you a couple of the scenes, um, make, make it in flash, and after I will show you the final, so you can see a little bit the process. <coughs> this is in flat colors. I 
I'm going to show you that same scene I have here the whole movie. <laughs> it doesn't have subtitle, but don't worry, the boy doesn't speak. <laughs> My memory every second. Uh, with the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to search a little bit. Eso es, mi boy, con decisión. Preparado, listo. You can see the smoke is uh, not computer, it's in well, Photoshop, frame by frame. You see it in. Presta atención, ese picado es muy difícil. Cuidado, chico pajar. Yeah, we, his dreams and his fears, his... Uh... Yeah, every boy is a complicated character because he's the main character, but it doesn't speak, it doesn't have, uh, the, you can see, uh, you, you can't see uh, the, I don't know, the, the word pupilla, the, the, the little, the, you know, inside the eye. <laughs> but you can see he, he has no eyes and he doesn't speak and you say, come on. So what, what I do, and then little tiny mouse. So you can make expressions. It's very difficult. We we, we were fighting with him. Ah, okay, uh, I, I can make the, the eye stretch. And Alberto, no, 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 no. The eye is, is always the same. It's, oh, but then what I do? So so the, it was a challenge. And the expression of the character we make like with the whole body. You know, we, we, uh, you, you turn the head down and Finally, I think it's a well, it's not a commercial movie, so it doesn't matter. And, and but yeah, well, it was complicated with very verbal because it doesn't express a lot. You know, you have to to find another ways. But well, I, I didn't animate only the boy. I made bird boy and the parrot and the the best friend of the girlfriend of the boy, the, uh, the bunny. So I was a little bit lucky because yeah, yeah, I know that <laughs> if I if I had to make all the weird boys, it was well. <laughs> but well, let's see another scene. That I'm quite proud because I made the the plants. You will see. I forgot to tell you, now I want to show you the final, you will see with the shadow, 
with the shadow uh, was difficult because uh, you don't find people that say, I'm a shadowist, I make shadows. <laughs> you don't have that prospect, that profession. So uh, we find like uh, illustrators uh, from the world of comic and we show them how to, okay, this is the time and you go and every frame, they, ah, okay. So they learn to do it and finally I think they, they became a very good artists in, in, in this. You will see the spinal now of this. Okay. By the way, I'm very happy because tonight, for me, the, in the, if you want to see the movie, if you haven't seen it, it's an event, it's a complicated hour. You oh, should sure. prefer a beer, but well, I'm going to be there because for me, it's also the first time I will see the movie in a cinema room. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> so I will be there. I, I already have my ticket. <laughs> okay, um, to finish, I have uh, one video. I made is like a demo reel, but only from Sikonaut, you know, with uh, my best shots. <coughs> so, with that, we finish.